for tuning in with me you are welcome to jesus my priority tv beloved it has been a while i want to appreciate god for his mercy for his grace for his love i want to appreciate him for keeping us alive i want to appreciate him for his spirit that he has put in us i want to appreciate him this self-existing god the omnipresent and omniscience, the only true wise God, the only one that has the power to kill and to make a life, the only one that said a word and he will watch over it to perfect it, the only one that does not see things the way man sees it. I want to appreciate him for his grace upon our life. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. You are God, you are God, you are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. Everlasting Father, Lord, I thank you. Father, you are the God who created the heavens and the earth. Lord, you are the self-existing God. The one that was existing even before the creation of this world. Lord, I want to appreciate you for your mercy and your grace upon our lives. I say, may your name alone be glorified. Thank you, O Lord, for this great opportunity you've given unto me once again. Lord, I say, may your name alone be glorified. For in Jesus' mighty name, I've prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. Thank you once again for tuning in with me. You are welcome once again to Jesus, my priority TV. Thank you. I have missed you all a lot. I want to thank God for his strength upon our lives. And I say, may him alone be glorified in the name of Jesus. Amen. Beloved, I have a little word of exhortation to give to Ross this very hour. I want to thank everyone who has been following me on this my platform. I pray that the Lord will continue to strengthen each and every one of us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Beloved, do you know it is a parity, it is a expedient that this race that we are running, we run it with fear and trembling, without looking at the circumstances or the things that surrounds us knowing fully well that the god whom we are serving is the rewarder of them who, who diligently seek him let us serve this god with fear let us serve him with all our hearts let us serve him with nothing attached to it he is the one that sees the heart of every man that we are going to we will be accountable unto him at the end of this race. I want to quickly read a verse from the Bible in the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 20. It says, For I say unto you, Jesus Christ was speaking in this very passage. He says, For I say unto you that except your righteousness shall exceed the righteousness of the scribes. And the Pharisees, ye shall in no case enter into the kingdom of God. Except 
my righteousness and set your righteousness and seed the righteousness of the scribes and the Pharisees, we shall by no case, by no means, enter into the kingdom of God. What is Christ trying to illustrate to us here? Who are the scribes? Who are the Pharisees? They are the ones that are known for, you know, outward appearance. They show themselves as a godly person. Outward appearance. They are known for, you know, giving praise to God. The righteousness of the scribes and the Pharisees are external. Their righteousness are external. It is outward, you know, appearance. People might see them and see them like, you know, they are a godly person, they are a godly man, a godly woman. But inwardly, it's full of scorpions. Inwardly, it's full of hatredness. Inwardly, it's full of jealousy. Inwardly, it's full of witchcraft spirit, wickedness. It's not only those that fly at night that are known for witchcraft or that are known as witch or wizard. Any man or woman that have a, a devilish heart, these are witchcraft spirits. Any man or woman that have a wicked heart, the heart to, to tear one apart, the heart to destroy one, the heart to, you know, lie against one, the heart to kill one. You know, there are some words we say from our mouths that words can kill or can even heal. So, these Pharisees and scribes, outwardly, they look like, you know, a godly person, but inwardly, they are full of all these things that I have just named. Jesus was, you know, advising us, instructing us, encouraging us from this very verse that I read, I read from. He says that except our righteousness, a seed, he used the Pharisees, the scribe, to make example, to give example to us. He gave this illustration using the scribe and the Pharisees to give us this example. He said, except our righteousness, a seed, their own righteousness, we shall by no means enter into the kingdom of God. Except, you know, we live above our own understanding. Except we allow the, the, the will of God to prevail in our life. Except we, we understand the reason why we are being called as a disciple of Christ. The reason why we are being called an ambassador, an ambassador for Christ. The reason why we are being called a child, a daughter, a son of, of Jesus Christ. Except we, that is, we allow the Spirit of God to walk in us except we allow Jesus to take total control over our well-being, over, over our inner mind, we shall by no means enter into the kingdom of God. We shall by no means see the face of God. This race that we are running now, let us run this race with fear and trembling. A lot of things we see in the with, in the body of Christ today that are not encouraging, but one thing we ought to understand that whatsoever thing that you see or that come before you, always take it as a a a, a block that you use to build. Always see it as a stone that you use to build. Anything that you see in this journey of life in your walk with God in your walk with the Lord be strong let your righteousness be known and seen before God and not man live your life and live it to the fullness knowing fully well that you are living this life for God do not gamble 
with your Christianity. Don't gamble with your relationship with God. No matter what comes your way, have this assurance and tell yourself that you will never look back because there is no man who has put his hand on the plow and look at back is worthy of the kingdom of God. Never look back. Anything that you see in, that, you, that you come across in this journey or on this journey, see it as a lesson. Pick from it and continue to move on with life. I have a lot to discuss with us in this my platform when time goes on. I have a lot to discuss with us. I have been, you know, away for some time. You can see that I have not been, you know, as, uh, uh, putting up videos for some time now. There is some experience that I have undergo. I want to thank God that I undergo those experience. I want to thank the Lord because I have drunk of the cup of, of our Lord Jesus Christ. When Jesus was praying the prayer on that day, when he went to the garden of Gethsemane, he prayed the prayer. He said, Father, if thou will, let this cup pass by. Let this cup pass away from me. But not as I wish, but thy will be done. Jesus knew what he was going to face. He knew what he was going to face. He prayed. But Jesus prayed and prayed through. And he allowed the will of his father to prevail at the end of the day. And today we have salvation because Jesus paid the price on the cross of Calvary for us. Any cup that, that is before you right now, you might be asking, why me? Why me? You don't need to ask that question anymore. All you need to do is ask God to give you the grace. God to give you the grace to pass through it, to carry that cross and to carry it till the end. In the name of Jesus, amen. Do not be discouraged in your walk with the Lord. Don't play Christianity. Don't play with your Christian life. Don't play with your fellowship with God. Oh God, and hold him very tight. Look unto him because he is the author and the finisher of our faith. Whenever you are down, don't allow yourself to remain there. That is what the devil is looking for. That is what the devil is after. Whenever you are down, because this journey of life, at times we see things that we do not expect in this journey of life. In this our walk with Christ, there are things that you might see that might shock you down, that might you know shook you down in such a way that you it will take it will take the grace of God for you to recover from it. Whenever you see those things coming before you, or whenever you see yourself in such a situation, don't allow yourself to remain down. Don't allow yourself. To remain in that spot. That is what the devil wants. Shook yourself. You don't have to shake yourself out. And stand firm again. And continue your walk. With the Lord. Continue your walk. With the Lord. Don't look back. Let your righteousness. Exceed the righteousness. Of the scribes. And the Pharisees. Who are the scribes and the Pharisees. They are the one who, you know, they, are, they, they, they serve the Lord in their outward appearance. Their outward appearance deceives many. Don't serve the Lord in hypocrisy. Don't serve the Lord in hypocrisy. 
serve the Lord with all your heart. He sees your heart. He sees your heart. Serve him with all your heart. Don't serve him because of any man or because of any woman. See him as the only one who you are looking up to up there. Don't be discouraged in this your work with the Lord. Don't be discouraged. I am very happy. I am celebrating because the enemy never wish that I will celebrate. The enemy never wish that I will celebrate. They came late. The enemy came late into my family. They came late. Jesus has frustrated the tokens of the liars and they have made the vanas to run mad. And they will continue to run mad in the mighty name of Jesus. In your work with the Lord, never wish anyone evil. Do not, you know, plot evil against any man or any woman. Don't wish anyone evil. Do not, do not, you know, plot evil against anybody. When your hands are clean, when your hands are clean, the Lord will always stand for you. The Lord will always fight for you. No matter what the devil does, no matter the height the enemy will go, Jesus, who is our backbone, will always show himself strong. I'm celebrating, like I said earlier on, uh, last month was my daughter's birthday. The enemy rose. They wanted to destroy our joy. But I thank the Lord who has frustrated the work of the enemy. They came last year. But this time around, they came again. They are fed. They, they are fed and they remain a failure. Celebration, I will continue to celebrate. So, we are celebrating my husband's 50th birthday and my daughter's 18th birthday. All day that love good things, good things, we continue to embrace them in the mighty name of Jesus. Any man or woman that's, that will rise up in the day of your joy in the day of your celebration that will say they want to stop your joy or they want to stop your shine the lord will never allow them to see the next day in the mighty name of jesus the bible says we should suffer not the wish to live any man or woman who is standing in your life as a, a friend or as a brother or a sister inwardly they are enemies to you the Lord will open your eyes to see them in the name of Jesus the only advice I will give to us let your hands be clean when your hands are clean no matter what the devil does the Lord will surely show himself in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Our righteousness must exceed the righteousness of the scribes and the Pharisees. If not, all our struggle serving the Lord will be in vain. And may this not be our portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you for tuning in with me again. Until I will come your way again, I remain my humble self, Sister Sweet Bensi. Shalom. Bless to serve Jesus. I speak from my heart. You all.